<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is Keetrick Starks. I'm joined here today by my fabulous friend and colleague, Lena Anderson. Hi, guys. Today, Lena and I are going to answer the age-old question, which foundation is best? So there are a few different choices when it comes to foundation types, uh, depending upon what kind of coverage you're looking for, what kind of finish, the overall look you want at the end. Uh, one of the first ones is a tinted moisturizer. This one is by Bobbi Brown, uh, but there are a few different ones on the market. The real cool thing about tinted moisturizers is that it allows you the opportunity to give a light coverage, um, a little bit of SPF protection, um, and even out the skin and still look pretty natural. It's what we call a sheer foundation. Okay. I like to apply it with a brush or with a sponge. No one using a, a sponge with any of your foundation, your liquid makeups. A sponge is going to do exactly what a sponge is meant to do. It's going to soak up a little bit of your makeup. So if you want to keep as much makeup either on the brush or on the skin as you possibly can, brush works best. So the real cool thing about tinted moisturizer really is that it's just that, a tinted moisturizer. So it kind of allows you to cut down one of the steps in your skincare regimen, especially when you're running out of the house real fast. So tinted moisturizer is a great way to go for a light, sheer amount of coverage that'll get you through all day. Of course, you can follow it up with a little powder and can see where you got a little extra time. Awesome. So we've seen what a tinted moisturizer can do. Now the is all clean again, we're going to go with foundation number two, which is a liquid. Uh, liquid foundations tend to be more sheer to medium in their coverage. So a little bit more than a tinted moisturizer would be, but obviously less than, say, a cream or a powder. Okay. I always like to apply my uh, liquid foundations using my finger. That way I get a nice sheer coverage. Just using a light hand, sweeping back and forth across the skin, making sure I get a nice, even coverage all the way throughout. So once you've got the foundation on evenly all over with your finger, I always like to take a flat tipped natural bristle brush and buff the foundation over the skin. So the cool thing about buffing over the skin with a natural bristle brush after applying, the natural bristles from the brush are going to kind of work like a sponge. They're going to help to soak up any excess and leave just what you need on the skin. Circular motions all over. Beautiful. <laughs> so the third foundation that we're going to discuss is a cream foundation. Cream foundations are usually a medium to full coverage. They come in sticks, they come in compacts, a few different options there. A cool thing about a cream foundation is that um, it can be sheared down to a medium coverage and sometimes even a sheer coverage. You can kind of make your own tinted moisturizer with a cream if you add your moisturizer to it. It's a little side step. A quick, easy way to apply a cream foundation is simply putting it all over, rubbing it on, and then using your sponge to blend the foundation out. I kind of like to wet my sponge just a little bit, so that way all of the foundation doesn't absorb back into the sponge. Another type of foundation um, that we're going to discuss today is a powder foundation. Powder foundations, are, once again, come in many, many different brands. Um, one of the ones that is most popular, of course, is Studio Fix by MAC. Uh, several makeup companies also make mineral powders, which can be used the same way as your traditional pressed powder foundation would be used. I'm going to use this one today with a brush. Of course, you can always apply it with a sponge as well. Circular motions. So for those of you who are using a Studio Fix foundation, you probably notice that your face tends to look a little lighter in photographs than in person. That's because of an ingredient inside Studio Fix that tends to bounce back or work against flash photography. My professional opinion would be if you know you're going to be taking a photograph, 
Don't wear studio fix that day. <laughs> Try one of our other fabulous options that we've gone through, whether it's liquid, tinted moisturizer, or cream. Certainly, studio fix is a great everyday foundation, but it works against photography. So if that's going to be an issue for you, Try one of our other options. Here you go. We've answered the age-old question, which foundation works best? The answer is, there's no best foundation. It's a matter of what works best for you. So decide what you're looking for when you go shopping. You're looking for either a sheer, medium, or full coverage. Sheer is usually found in your tinted moisturizers all the way down to our liquids, our creams, or our powders. Also, you want to notice the finish that you want. Do you want a matte, a natural, or a dewy finish? Those things will help you decide how to best pick your foundation. So thanks Shantae Henderson for asking this question. Thanks so much to everybody for watching. Keep those questions coming. You can contact me via Facebook, Twitter, keytrickstarks.com. All that information is down below. And we'll talk to you real, real soon. All right? Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.